Yes, folks, you are hearing this right. Hillary Clinton may be considering to look to run for president again. She keeps hinting at it. So let's check in with host of Dick Morris Democracy, Dick Morris himself. Uh, Dick, do you think she's actually going to run again? Well, I've always said that the way you could tell if Hillary is running again is check whether she has a pulse or not. <laughs> and if she does, most <laughs> likely she's running. But uh, lately, there have been, there's been a very significant sign that indicates that she is, in fact, planning to run. She gave an interview earlier this week with MSNBC where she talked about, quote, we have to think clearly and be clear-eyed about what it will take to win the House and the Senate. And she then proceeded to basically blame AOC and the progressives for policies that she said could endanger the Democratic majorities. It's She's not wrong. See, it's kind of odd to see a candidate uh, l doing the blame game for an election that hasn't happened yet. Right. But she was. And then, interestingly, the reply came from AOC, who said, uh, we need to uh, enact the, B the balanced budget, the Build Back Better program, and that unless we do so, we're going to lose the midterm elections. So you have dueling views from the center and the left yeah. about what's going to happen what's going to cause the co collapse of the party, even though it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. And I think that's presaging the campaign. I think Hillary's message will be after the wipeout that will happen next year, next year, the, uh, yeah. they're going to blame each other. And, and AOC will use that to challenge the leadership and say she should run. And I think that Hillary is going to use that to say that we need a sane or more moderate approach in order to win. And I think it'll set up a conflict between Hillary and AOC for the Democratic nomination. Yeah, but now, Dick. Two other candidates. Uh, the blacks will have one, probably Cory Booker, and most likely uh, the establishment will have one, probably Pete Buttigieg. And I see a right. four-way race coming. Well, but Dick, you know, you bring up an interesting point there. You have AOC saying if we don't pass BBB, then we're going to lose the House. Hillary Clinton saying if you do pass BBB, you're going to lose the House. So. At Either way, the Democrats are right because one of them's got to be wrong. So, you know, Hillary Clinton, look, they're going to lose the House no matter what. So Hill, yeah. they, she knows. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, they, they know they, they know that. But like, here's the problem is Hillary Clinton's been in this game a long time. I just totally disagree with her policies. And I think she was just a, a terrible candidate. But that doesn't mean she doesn't know how to play the game. So when you're playing the game against people who've been in Congress like a hot minute, um, like AOC, what do you think the, the, the opposition is going to be once they're in the minority? Does Hillary Clinton go on the I told you so, let's moderate campaign? Or does she actually kind of slide over like Joe Biden did into basically Bernie Sanders' agenda? No. There'll be all kinds of running room on the center for a Democrat because Democrats will be crazy about why they lost the House and the Senate. And she can exploit a backlash against the possibility of AOC winning mm -hmm. to use that to fuel her own candidacy. Uh, and the other part, of course, don't forget the blacks will have a candidate named by Obama. And my guess is Cory Booker. And Not the Michelle. establishment won't want Hillary. So the party leadership will probably try to get Buttigieg in. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of hoopla, though, around Michelle potentially throwing her hat in the ring. A lot of articles written that the, the mainstream media, of course, they, they, they're not right about basically anything anymore. But they did say that they think Michelle Obama could beat a Trump matchup. I obviously disagree. What do you think? Well, Michelle leads all the polls for the Democratic nomination. When you ask people who would you like to see as the Democratic candidate, Michelle or Biden, Democratic primary voters vote for Michelle. Yeah. Uh, Biden draws less than a quarter of his own party in a head-to-head -head matchup in a primary, unprecedented weakness. Right. Yeah. But Michelle was quite firm in 2020 that she does not want to run and won't run. Right. And uh, For now. I think that I think that may hold, but who knows? Yeah, right. But the thing is, too, which is interesting about Michelle, I, I, even though she says she doesn't want to run, I think that's a very smart move because it keeps a lot of the heat off her and the hit pieces and the digging and stuff like that, giving less time if she does decide to run for them to actually dig up what they need to dig up. However... My concern, not my concern, my, my glee, is that she has, she's never been a policy person. She's, you know, can go, hey, they go low, we go high, I have social icon, I'm a social icon. She's got social swagger, she's very likable in, within her party, uh, you know. And that said, when it comes to policy, Donald Trump has a policy to run on. 
She has no policy talking points. Do you think she'll get destroyed in a debate? No, no. She has a handler as effective as Barack Obama's handler. In fact, it was the same handler, yeah. Valerie Jarrett. And, uh, and also she has Barack, uh, who has plenty of substance. So uh, I don't think that would be her problem, but I don't think we'll reach that. Uh, I think that uh, there would not be this talk of Cory Booker or other minority candidates if Michelle was serious about possibly running, and she's not saying yeah. she's... Yeah, well, either way, Dick Morris, always good to talk to you, sir. This will be Hillary 3.0. Yeah, 3.0, then 4.0, then 5.0. <laughs> All right, we'll see you soon. Happy New Year, Dick. Bye-bye. All right, folks. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.